So now we're going to go over the three main uh, tracks in neuroanatomy. On the left side, you have your cortical spinal tract. So in blue and then in green, <clears throat> in the middle, you have your dorsal column, dorsal white column, medial lemniscus tract. And in your red, you have your lateral spinothalamic tract for pain. So I'm going to start um, with the blue. So your cortical spinal tract, this, this um, involves your upper motor neurons and your lower motor neurons. So this cortical spinal tract is a motor tract. So cortical spinal, it's in the name, comes from your cortex to, to the spinal, to your spinal cord. So it starts up at the um, cortex of your brain. That's where the upper motor neuron begins. And then it travels all the way down your spinal cord and then to a lower motor neuron. So upper motor neurons, by definition, um, communicate with lower motor neurons. And lower motor neurons, by definition, communicate with skeletal muscle. So your upper motor neuron starts at your cortex, travels down contralaterally, which just means it's on the opposite side of that which it then crosses over. I'll explain what that means. So it starts up at the cortex, travels down as you can see on the left side, and then it decussates. So what that means is that it crosses over, and scientists don't know why um, neurons and fibers cross over. They don't understand the functioning of that. But so just for anatomy purposes, we know that this upper motor neuron crosses over. So it crosses over specifically at the pyramid of the medulla. So as you can see how the black outline is structured, the kind of like fuzzy thing, this is your um, cortex, this is your midbrain, this is your medulla, I'm mean, sorry, this is your pons, this is your medulla, and then this is your spinal cord. So um, it decussates, which means crosses over at the pyramid of the medulla and goes down the lateral cortical spinal tract. So this is your lateral cortical spinal tract and up here is just your general cortical spinal tract. So it decussates over and comes down your lateral cortical spinal tract and then it comes here and communicates with a lower motor neuron. And the lower motor neuron, its cell body is in the spinal cord but then its axon exits the spinal cord at whatever spinal level that it's needed to exit at to innervate whatever mu muscles either dorsally or ventrally um, and then and then innervates the skeletal muscle <clears throat> and causes a contraction. Here, this is your uh, dorsal white column medial lemniscus tract. And so what this does is two point touch sensory um, and also light touch or what's called crude touch. And also does proprioception. So letting you know where you are in, in, like, um, in space. Um, like for example, if your hand is out here, if your left hand is out here, it's, it's, it can tell like where about your left hand is, whether it's like being kind of like, whether you're holding it down kind of like at your hip, or rather, or if you have your hand raised, your dorsal white column medial lemniscus contract is in charge of um, communicating with your brain like where your hand is at any given time. So that's called proprioception. So instead of starting up here, we're starting at the bottom. These two sensory tracks start at the bottom. <clears throat> so the Meisner's, so you have like a Meisner's touch corpuscle like in your fingertips, for example, and if you touch something, then you have a two point. Um, <clears throat> so if you touch something, it's gonna travel through your fasciculus cuneatus or fasciculus gracilis um, tract. And um, those depend on whether or not information is coming from your upper extremities or lower extremities. Um, <clears throat> so fasciculus cuneatus starts at T6 and fasciculus gracilis starts at um, starts at the bottom of your spinal cord and goes up versus fasciculus cuneatus starts at T6. So essentially what's gonna happen is the touch sensation is gonna go into the spinal cord and it's gonna travel up the, the fasciculus cuneatus and gracilis um, tracts here. And so, but it's gonna, it's gonna hit its nucleus, either the nucleus cuneatus and nucleus gracilis, and that's gonna be occurring in the medulla. Once it, once it, once it hits its nuclei in the medulla and communicates with the nuclei in the medulla, nuclei is just a word to describe a collection of uh, axonal cell bodies that have similar um, functions. So that's what a, nuclea, a nucleus is, in, like with respect to us, um, to the brainstem. So once it innervates, once it communicates with its nucleus, it's going to duck say crossover in the medulla. It's not necessarily in the pyramid of the medulla, but it's going to cross somewhere in the medulla and it's gonna travel on the opposite side and go up to the thalamus to communicate for like crude touch, but then more specifically to the cortex to communicate for that fine touch signaling. Then now we come over to the 
lateral spinothalamic tract. So this one does um, pain temperature and also crew touch. So both these guys do crew touch. So this guy, unlike, unlike the dorsal white collar medial meniscus tract, the spinal thalamic tract, it crosses over immediately within the spinal cord. You're, so you see up here, this crosses over at the medulla. This one comes down, crosses at the medulla. This one comes up and crosses at the medulla. This one doesn't cross at the medulla. This one crosses immediately when it enters the spinal cord. So you have a naked nerve ending, and those are the nerve endings that sense um, pain and temperature and, and crude touch. So it's gonna decussate, which means cross over immediately in the spinal cord at what's called the anterior um, white commissure, and that's located directly in the middle of the, um, well, that's, that's in the spinal cord. It's in the anterior portion of the spinal cord. Um, so it crosses over and, <clears throat> well, sorry, before it crosses over, the, the naked nerve ending um, communicates with the nucleus propius, um, and the nucleus propius is inside of the spinal cord, and once it communicates with the nucleus propius, nucleus propius, that's when it crosses over in the anterior white commissure and travels all the way up in the lateral, now we're in the lateral spinal thalamic tract, and then we're going to the thalamus for crude, crude um, um, communication of like temperature and pain, but then specifically to the cortex for the very fine pain, like where's the, what kind of pain is it? Is it crude pain? Is it sharp pain? Is it dull pain? And more specifically that of that nature.